Hi, thank you for allowing us to send you this video. Uh, my name is Alex and I'm going to be showing you uh, by why having a website you can increase your business. And if you do decide to have a website, what would you need to appear on the first page of uh, Google search? So uh, first things first, I've noticed that you didn't have a website. That's what I want to you know, just show you. But you do have a profile for uh, Google My Business. So basically, um, you don't have that many reviews. And for example, if I go and try to find HVAC Long Island, New York, um, you could be in this top three over here. Uh, Besides this top three, you can see that uh, th this section over here is for Google Ads. Uh, basically, you pay for every time somebody clicks on it. And if it's not done properly, um, you might not see the result that you want. But this only works if you have like a landing page or a website in this case, so people can actually reach out. Uh, but moving forward, um, right here, if like I said, you have a profile, but you probably won't be here if your website is not giving you power, and I'll show you that in a second, because basically uh, this is by uh, doing a little bit of work when people are mentioning your name. Uh, but let's take a look at why these guys are ranking number two, for example, because right here in position number one, we had we have Yelp, but that's a big directory. But I want to show you this and see why they're ranking and, you know, what are the benefits on, on that. So I have the website below here. Oh, no, not this one, sorry. Uh, this one, there you go. So uh, we can see that um, they have, um, the first thing that Google's going to notice here is content. And when I say content, I'm not just talking about the images and and the icons. It's more about the text that your website has because Google, uh, they have like little robots that go, they go to the website and start scanning all the website and they're going to read this. And if it's relevant and if it's something about your business and if it's including keywords, for example, HVAC Long Island, New York, you're going to start getting noticed, but Google loves to see a lot of content. So depending on how many keywords you want to be targeting to, um, my, rule is, my rule of thumb is to have at least 200 uh, words per every keyword that you, want to, that you want to target. So you can see that they have content here, more content here, they have videos, they have all this information going on. So that's probably why they're ranking number two, right? And uh, you see that they have different locations that they're targeting as well. So very, very important to understand. Uh, let me just pull out this tool over here. And I'm going to show you the back end of the website and how they're ranking over there. Give it a second. OK, so. You can see that they they are being found for over 3,000 keywords, which is a lot. And we saw that right back on the website that they have a lot of content, in, including sub pages, they're being found for that. So over 3,000 keywords is a lot, uh, but that's something that help is helping them to rank. And they have over 3,600 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites that I mentioned in your website, and this will give you power so you can be found on Google. Think about like a popularity contest. The more people, the more relevant people that talk about you in a positive way, the more relevant you're going to become. You're, not, you're going to stay relevant. And this is pretty much the same thing, but it's not about how many links you have. It's about the quality of them. So you can have thousands thousands. But if they're not powerful, they're not relevant, and most important, if they're not targeting the keywords that you want to be found for, it could be like this. The rating is nothing. So, but it's, that's good news for you because they're doing just very too little, so they can be found on that. And I'll show you here. Let's take a look and see the keywords that they're being found for. Uh, for example, they have this one over here, HVAC Long Island. There's 200 searches a month. And because they're ranking number three, they lost a position last month, but ranking number three, they're getting 30 visits straight to their website. And this is something that uh, 30 visits to their website means that 
you get people over here and when you get a website you gotta try to somehow uh, engage with your visitors so uh, call us now contact here uh, send us a text message things like that will definitely help you so that's 30 people I mean that's three chances that uh, they could have uh, someone requesting uh, their, their services and you can do the same thing and uh, let's keep uh, scrolling down and see if we can find uh, this one as well as fact and just near me there's 700 searches a month and they're, because they're on the second page they're getting 11 visits and you can see here how all these visits combined based on the keywords that they're targeting um, they seem to be having enough visits um, possible or customer leads in this case into their website and that can definitely help you grow your business uh, right who wouldn't want to have a lot of people knocking on the door asking uh, for a price on how to fix uh, HVAC or things like that um, but anyways I don't want to take too much of the time so really quick to recap all this if you decide to have a website make sure that you have relevant content uh, make sure that you include you are including the keywords that you want to be found for and if you start seeing results then we can talk about uh, backlinks and how they're uh, they can help you. So if you're going to pay for backlinks, you're going to make sure that they're quality links, not just any links. Um, and you can start seeing the results in a short period of time because these guys who are ranked number two, they don't have that much of a reputation. Um, for you, it will be pretty easy to start um, competing with this. So once again, my name is Alex. I hope this uh, information is useful for you. If you have any questions, please let us know, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.